of the most famous bands in Portland here. <laughs> so know. you gotta, <laughs> okay. We got we gotta give you the proper credit. So go ahead and uh, right. introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Griffin. I'm the inspector, customer service representative at CD Baby. And I play bass in Dirty Mittens. Okay, now what do, what do you guys want to ask a real life rock star here? I, I, I just play bass. I'm not the, I'm not the singer. <laughs> She's the cute one. I'm just the bass player. She is really cute. She's yeah. <laughs> She used to work here as well. She did. She got me the job here. And the guitar player in the band also got me the job. We all worked here together at one point. Doesn't one of the other members work here too? Mm -mm. No, just three of us. Or two of us now. So what questions do you guys have? I have a question. All right. Do you have potty words in your music? <laughs> um, I think there's one on our CD. Just one. Maybe one, but I don't write the words, so. Well, that's pre that's pretty good, Angela. That's only one. Clean. Yeah, that's only good. one. That's very good. Yeah, my my mom, my both my parents were really big fans of it, though. and my grandparents liked the album a lot too. Yeah, if could, the if the grandparents can listen. Yeah. <laughs> so what about what about some of uh, your, the most fun shows you've ever traveled to? Um, Livewire was really fun. Um, we played a really fun show in Salt Lake City once at this really, really kind of like crazy outdoor venue place that was really cool. Um, like in Boise. We played in Boise, Megan's hometown, a couple times. Uh, the last time we were in Boise, there, they have this new concert hall that's really cool. It's like all wood and there's like giant the back? ceilings. The back? I think visual so. Art yeah, yeah, the, the visual art collective. These giant. It's really high ceilings, kind of like a ski lodge, like a giant ski lodge, um, which is really it's fun. Auto parts store. Really? Mm -hmm. That explains it. That's why it's so large. It's huge. It's, cool. it's this and, giant room. Yeah. And it's covered with like local <coughs> artists' work, and then they have bands that play. So yeah, really, really fun. All right, Rhonda, what questions do you have? Um. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. Kind of putting you on the spot here. Yeah. What about, tell, tell us your best road trip story. Um, on the way to Salt Lake City, our van broke down, and we've, we made it off the side of the, onto the side of the road. And um, luckily, we had a friend who was in Salt Lake City at the time, so she came and picked us up, and we left the van. Hey, Gary. And um, we got a tow truck driver, this really crazy old guy who was like 70 years old, but he was just big, muscly guy. And he, like, he came and he had his tow truck and he, you know, we, we, he hopped out of the car, this really old guy, and we were like, okay, do you want some help? And he was like, no, 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 it's good. And he was whipping around these chains and he, this giant tour van full of gear, he pulled it up onto the tow truck. And originally, you know, it's in the rules, they have to tow you to a, to a, a like a, a repair shop or something. But we explained to him we had a show. So he towed the van to the, to the venue, like, Lifted it down a little bit, but not all the way off, so we could get all the gear out of the back, which was really nerve-wracking because it was a <laughs> van, like slanted down, and we're standing behind it, pulling like amps and all this giant stuff out of the back. And then um, he uh, hung out, took the van to the venue or to the repair shop, and then came back and watched the show because we were so nice. Cool. Yeah. So you may have been the first uh, band to arrive in a tow truck. That's pretty cool. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. We were late and we pulled up in this tow truck with the van and it was pretty fun. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Griffin.